Hi guys, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to be reading your coming out stories, reacting to them, seeing what's up in how you guys came out. On Twitter, I asked you guys to send me so your coming out stories to my email. If some remain anonymous, it's because they specified in the email to want to remain anonymous, obviously. So let's go. I'm pretty excited. These make me really happy and they're really cute, so I'm really excited. Well, obviously some of them might be sad. I don't know, I haven't read them, so let's go. Some glitz on my face, rainbow glitter, and also rainbow unicorn. So, we're feeling gay, we're feeling queer in here, and ready to fucking go. <laughs> First coming out story is from Ashley. Hey guys, my name is Ashley. This really has no intention, I just had a feeling I wanted to tell y'all. Okay, shall she wait? There's a, pr there's a promise for this. So she posted this on Facebook. This really has no intention. I just had a feeling I wanted to tell y'all about myself, I guess. Some of this will be sad, some will be happy, some will be surprising, and some will be odd, IDK, honestly. I am 13 years old and I'm also bisexual. When I was a baby, my, oh my God, my dad abandoned me and my disabled mom. So we had to live with my grandma. I lived with her for about n nine years. My mom's life was full of hospital visits medicine, pain, and stress. A little over four years ago, she passed away. Oh my god. A few months, I had to move in with my dad. I did see him three days out of the week, and I've been living with him for almost four years now. When I see my binder thing that I have with all the memories of my mom, I cry. This year, I went to the cemetery, and as that was happening, I was talking to this amazing girl that helped me through a lot from the time I knew slash know her. A little later, we actually started dating. We broke up now. So every time I was sad, I'd tell her and then she'd help me. After we broke up, I felt useless and stuff like that. But a bit after, I finally found an amazing girl that helps me with everything. And I help her too. In my opinion, I thought that this wasn't going to work out because all of relationships I've had in last a week. But this relationship has lasted two months now. The longest relationship I've had. Longer than me and you're only 13. I took back that thought. Honestly, all my friends have said that I've been happier with her than when I'm not with her. And also, from the time I've been on Twitter slash social media in general, I've met amazing friends. And whenever I'm down, sad, or when I just really hate myself and want to kill myself, they are always there to help me and make me feel loved. And just really wanted and cared for. If I didn't have them, I don't know where I'd be without them. I'd like to thank everyone that's helped me through everything all. Love you all. That was beautiful. I'm really sorry about your mom. That is heartbreaking. I almost, I almost cried about it. Like that's just, that's so upsetting. But it seems like you're doing a lot better. And I think that's great. I think social media is so amazing for meeting people. Like having friends and people to just like watch out for you, I think it's really great for that. So that's like what makes me really love social media, to be honest, is I think it does actually create a lot of friendships and like a lot of people are just there for each other. So thank you for sharing your story. It was beautifully sad and happy and everything all at once. So but I don't know your name because you didn't write it, so maybe you want to remain anonymous. Says, hi Michelle, so I came out to my sister using a Shrek bun and what I was and what I said was, hey, do you, what do you call a gay ogre? She asked, she just asked what and then I said, a homo Shrek who will like also me. And then I just sent her a link to the all-star video and then we talked about it. I still haven't come out to my family, but I've been dropping hints like, oh, I love Haley Williams so much. She's so pretty. Thank you, love, a really gay fan. Homosexual might be not a real word, but I feel like it should be. And honestly, that story was iconic. Thank you. Steph says, hey, my name on Twitter is Steph, is Queer Steph, by the way. So basically it was my birthday, October 11th. If you know that reference, then leave it in the comments right now, but I'm gonna tell you anyway because it just makes me so damn happy. The fucking parent trap. Your birthday is on October 11th. Annie, we're like sisters. No, Hallie, we're like twins. So basically it was my birthday October 11th and I was in eighth grade. BTW October 11th is National Coming Out Day. Actually, it's National Parent Trap Day. So it's like I popped out gay already. I was out at my school and I convinced myself I was bisexual but finally realized I was a lesbian. When I told myself I wanted to smash Hannah Montana. <laughs> so lol, so when I turned 14, I went to my mom's room and I was like, hey mom, I want to tell you something. And she was like, what do you want? I'm watching my novellas it's like a hispanic drama show or whatever and i was like i'm lesbian like really freaking gay and my mom was convinced i was trans not that i have anything against transgender people i'm just not that and anyway she still thinks that i'm just confused and she kind of outed me to the rest of my siblings oh no but 
right after I told her, but they didn't really care. They knew before I did. Oh, that's funny. I feel like a lot of parents, like, know and, like, siblings know, like, way before you do because, I mean, it's easier to accept something or, like, notice something that's not about yourself before it is to notice something about yourself. You know what I mean? I don't know. And to this day, my mom is still kind of iffy about it, and she thinks I don't know what I want because I'm only a teenager. I just wanted to say I love you so much, and thank you for making me smile, especially now that my city is flooding with this Hurricane Harvey. Oh my god, that is so sad. If you guys live in Texas, please stay safe, and if you don't, I'm gonna leave, or if you do and you have extra money, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box to donate to the, like, hurricane funds. Because obviously, after this hurricane passes, it's going to be like insanely expensive to rebuild everything um so please donate if you can and if not just show your support that's that was a nice coming out story i'm glad that like at least she doesn't like hate you like that's always a good thing and i'm sure eventually she'll start to notice that it's not just a phase like it's what you actually want so it'll be all good hopefully okay anonymous says hey michelle so i haven't fully come out yet but i wanted to tell you when i came out to my best friend at 15. We were laying in my bed one night and we were playing the question game and she asked me who my crush was. At the time I had developed my first ever girl crush on an or first ever crush on another girl and I hadn't told a soul yet. I told her she could guess and knowing she would never guess a girl anyway, so eventually she named practically every single guy in the school and she was like, I have no idea unless it is a girl. And I just nodded and told her who it was and started crying. She asked me if I was gay and I said I didn't know. And here comes the crazy part. Oh my god, that she then tells me that she's had a massive crush, massive crush on me for like ever. That she, she then started coming out to me. I was shooketh. I didn't like her that way, but I also didn't know what to do. We fell asleep and we never talked about it again that night. Eventually we stopped talking. Oh my god. And that's the weirdest night a young lesbian could ever have with her best friend. It's usually so, I mean, usually, I mean, there's no ever right or wrong thing that happens, but I would say, like, a lot of times, a girl, like, a lesbian girl has a crush on one of their friends, and she would be telling the friend that she liked him, but their friend would be straight. That's just kind of, like, a cliche. Um, but I still love that cliche. Like, I would, I'm <laughs> debating writing a book about it. Anonymous says, I'm 13 years old and I'm pansexual. Today, I actually came out to my best guy friend. We were making cards for people in the army, and I tried to draw a straight line and it was far from straight. I said, look, it's as straight as me and then I had to explain what pansexual is. That's so funny. Okay, Anonymous says, okay, so I first came out to my internet best friends as gay forever ago, but I knew that there was always something more. I started identifying as trans in 2015, but only on the internet. I finally wanted something to change because I was in a shitty place, so I left a letter on my guidance counselor's desk explaining everything. She was the first person, like, IRL person I came to. She called me down to her office and we had this long ass conversation with tears and she called and she helped me get an appointment for the doctors about my mental health. And that's when I told my doctor everything. This was around November 2016. Flash forward to a couple of months to January 2017 about after about three appointments I eventually built up the courage to ask my mom to come with me and to talk things through. I made it 100% clear to my doctor that I want to tell her about my mental health but not about me being trans. It's one of the worst moments. It was one of the worst moments of my life. However, my mom said that she knew that there was something about my sexuality that I wasn't that wasn't straight or whatever. She actually supported me. We had a little talk, but I haven't discussed it further since eight months ago. Although over this time, I've realized that I would rather identify as gay for the time being but I honestly don't know how to tell my mom or anyone that. Also, I'm moving away to for university, so I low-key might drop the gay bomb on everyone before I leave. My dad and some of my family are homophobic slash transphobic as fuck, so not really about that life, you know. Yeah, that's really sticky because, I mean, you're going away to university, but I'm assuming, I mean, I don't know your situation, but if your parents are paying for it, that can be a little scary too. So just make sure you're in a safe situation to come out and yeah. Anonymous says, so basically last September I was like, well, damn, I'm ace. And I was chill with it and literally like a few weeks after that I just told my mom straight up and she looked at me and said, well, I'm not gonna get any grandchildren from you then. And she was also like, well, that's who you are. How can I hate you for it? My mom is so chill and supportive and doesn't give a fuck. Also love you and your videos. Thank you. That is so cute. I love when parents just like don't give a fuck because I don't get where like sexuality or gender is such like a huge difference like it's like you're still normal you're still a human being you still 
can get good grades, you could still be successful and make tons of money or be successful in other situations and help people and like inspire people like you could still be a human like you still are a human so like I don't get when parents don't accept it um like why are you so concerned if Michael says my name is Michael and I am 18 years old and I came out on Halloween of night of 2016 this is not how I expected it to come out but it is kind of funny I love the funny story before I start this story I want to tell you that I already was out to my mom before this happened so it was Halloween and the Sadie Hawkins dance was coming up at my high school I never went to any dances before because I'm gay and I wanted to take a boy and same-sex couples were not allowed to go to dances at my school that's bullshit Anyways, a girl I met in a school club asked me out to the dance and she left a corny poster along with a jar of candy and said it would be so sweet to it would be so sweet to go to the dance with you. Since it was Halloween, my whole family was visiting. This includes aunts, uncles, and grandparents. I took the poster in to show my mom and her face froze and she didn't know what to say. My whole family asked what was wrong and I showed them the poster. And then they asked why I didn't want to go to the dance and right then and there, I knew it was time to tell them. I literally just said, I'm gay and walked out. It was so awkward, but at least now everyone knew. A good thing my family is supportive and they weren't worried about the situation. I still went to the dance because I wanted to have a good time. I wanted my friends to have a a good time and it was the only high school dance I ever went to. One thing that I will always think about <laughs> since that night is how I didn't have a costume on. It was the first Halloween, it was the first night I was Hal- oh my gosh. It was the first night I was myself for Halloween and I felt like I was pretending to be someone else my whole life but I now to know what it felt like to be myself. It felt so fucking good. Oh my god you're so cute. Oh my gosh that was iconic. Thank you for that. Anonymous says I, I'm bisexual. I tried coming out to my mom three times. The first time I tried asking her what she would do if my cousin was gay and she said she would disown him and she was serious about it so I didn't tell her that time. The second time she was yelling at me for something stupid, I can't even remember, it was a little over a year ago, but she started blaming my cousin for something and so I tried to save his ass and told her I'm bisexual and she started dodging me saying I'm too young to know how I feel and all that shit. The third time was literally a little over a month ago and I was at my cousin's party and me and my mom and my aunt were talking my aunt said something about being about me being gay bisexual gay pansexual etc it's all the same to her except for straight and my mom said and my mom told me to stop saying that bullshit and that it's disgusting and she was dodging me and it, it hurts me so bad that she acts like that and I can never bring a girl home and tell her that's my girlfriend because she'd flip a shit on both of us. My dad and stepmom, on the other hand, are okay with it and I always ask them how they felt about it and they said they didn't really care if people were. So one day my dad picked me up from my mom's. I stay at his house every other weekend and I was just like, I'm bi. And he said, okay, bye, get out. And I didn't get it at first and at least I have someone that's okay with it. It just hurts to live with my mom and that she's not accepting of it. I'm so sorry. I feel like that just really sucks and like I never... I never know what to say to people who like literally can't come out because that was never a situation that I had to go through obviously thankfully and I just think it's so sad and I'm really sorry that you have to go through that and hopefully it will get better soon maybe. We shall become more open minded. You never know but those are the coming out stories I'm going to react to today. Thank you guys for sending them in. You guys sent more in but like <laughs> this video is already 21 minutes long of footage. I don't know how long it'll be. but. Um, yeah, if you want me to do a part three of this video, that's six, three of this video, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any advice to share or if you want to share your coming out story, you can leave it in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram because I'm always posting really dope ass shit on there. Subscribe for new videos every single day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye! Are you, I was a